We just found a 2013 triple slide Prevo Millennium coach that has a very rare floor plan with two slides in the front salon and one slide in the rear bedroom. And today we're going to take this coach for a test drive, go through the bays, show you what it's like going down the road with the slide rooms in. And the best part about this coach is it's available at the Motor Coach store in Bradenton, Florida for $888,000. $888. It's got just over 100,000 miles on it. This is a bath and a half coach, and it's very rare to find a bath and a half Prevo under $900,000, so really a lot of value in this coach. These Michelin tires have 2021 date codes, and the little bit that I have driven this coach, I am extremely impressed with how smooth this build is going down the road, so I'm really excited to show you that today. Now, before we take a look inside, let's look at the basement bays. This is the H3, so it has the tallest bays in the industry. And I love the way Millennium finishes these bays out. We have a very large wine cooler. This is a Summit wine cooler in the front bay. And there is a telescoping ladder that's housed in this bay as well. And this is where Millennium is gonna house all of the electronic components in this coach. And you'll notice that they've got this cooling fan right here. They're always thinking about how to keep everything cool. There's a lot of engineering that goes into these coaches. You'll notice little fans. And it looks like it's got the uh, HIK Vision uh, security system here. So I'm really looking forward to going through this coach. It has a lot of features in it. And the next bay is going to house the Aqua Hot 600D. We also have these two canisters to store sewer hoses. Then here's the 20KW generator on airbags and the DEF fill as well. And the DEF fill is going to be right next to the fuel fill. It does have a locking fuel door. It is a 200 gallon diesel fuel tank. So you can put down a lot of miles in this coach without having to fill up. And a lot of folks really like the height of the fuel fill here. It is chest height, so you don't really have to bend over or bend in to get into any bays. And then here's a look at the plumbing bay with that turned aluminum face, our gray and black tank flushes. We have a spot for a hose bib, as well as an additional faucet to wash your hands, a spot to store paper towels. And this has the quad carefree awnings up top. We have awning controls here in our plumbing bay. And then this is going to be for the power 50 amp cord reel, a Crestron panel outlets, very clean plumbing bay. And then I mentioned 2021 date codes on the Michelin tires and the check-in sheet and build sheet are going to be available at themotorcoachstore.com. So if I miss some information in this video, you can always check out themotorcoachstore.com. But I like to point out the perforated vinyl that goes through the rear windows. It's really cool the way they bring this paint scheme that's got this marbling in it and they bring that through that stripe in the window. Just an incredible look and very rich color colors with the black, gold, and white. It's a very classy, timeless design. And then coming around to the other side of the coach, uh, this is a side look at the Volvo D13. And this is the latch right here to unhook the rear engine hatch. And you can see easy access to your belts. Prevo's got all kinds of features like the belt tensioner here. They make these coaches very serviceable. I mean, they're running all kinds of seated passenger bus coaches, Greyhound buses. A lot of the A-list rock stars are running around in the tour bus industry, so they need these buses to be reliable. And there's a lot of value in all of the research and development that Prevo does for all of those industries. And then the RV industry kind of piggybacks on some of that research and development and the structure of this coach when we drive it in a moment. It's just incredible at how smooth it is going down the road. And Millennium does a great job with their build. I'm very impressed with how well everything is held up in this coach and we don't see too many millenniums on the channel but every millennium that I've seen I've been very impressed with. So here's the other side of the plumbing bay and they've got that turned aluminum look again. You can fill your fresh water on this side. We also have a hose bib and another spot to store paper towels. And then here's a little spot near and dear to my heart a deionized water for a power washing system and I see an industrial grade power washer back there. With this industrial grade power wash hose on the hose reel making it very easy to clean your coach here's the gun too again industrial grade ladies and gentlemen this is what i used for a lot of years every day very similar to this and then i also noticed this this is a tds meter 
right here. That's so that you can monitor your uh, hardness of your DI filter. So when you have new resin in that DI filter, you wanna make sure you're always checking your TDS meter to make sure as soon as that resin goes, you need to switch it out for new resin. Then we can fill the diesel fuel tank on both sides of the coach. And here's some good storage with some shelves built in. And then this bay is gonna have some more storage. It does house some of the electronic components back there. And then I always love to see this. We've got four of these Zip D lawn chairs with the Millennium logo. Very high-end chairs that really hold up well over time. And we see 20, 30 year old coaches with the same style of chair. They're very comfortable. We all need to have some lawn chairs when we're camping. So that's just one of those nice features that you get in a coach like this that you're not gonna get in production motorhomes. And when you look at the price point of this for $888,888, I mean, there's a lot of late model Newmar product that's more expensive than this. And it's just not the same level of industrial build, all of the equipment in this coach and these buses are made to run a million miles. So still so much life left in this coach. So this next bay is gonna have a manual slide tray for storage. And then we've got this uh, pull out TV, very smooth the way that pulls out. And then this will swivel out. It does have a dust cover on it. It's a very high end Samsung TV. All of the uh, you know equipment and components that they put in these coaches are of the highest level. And then just extremely smooth the way that goes back in. And then the first bay is gonna have a Dometic cooler with some nice drawer space below. You can see some dividers in here for storage all lined with carpet. Huge pull out drawer, very deep. And then this Dometic cooler is on a manual slide tray as well. It's extremely clean in there. And I like the way that they designed this, really utilizing all of this space, the way they have these drawers stacked, really nice. And here we have the Airphone doorbell camera, the nice Millennium badging, key code entry for the front door. You're gonna notice cameras around the coach, but let's take a look inside of this coach and then we're gonna take it for a test drive. And I also wanna show you how the slide rooms operate. So definitely worth watching this whole video to see how smooth this is going down the road, but let's check out the interior of this bath and a half millennium. This bath and a half triple slide coach is very different than any other Prevo motorhome that we've seen. We have two slide rooms in the front of the coach and one bedroom slide. So we have lots of living space up here. And as we go through this coach, I really like the way that Millennium puts everything together. It's got this, I believe this is called the Savant system. We can control all of the different lights. It's very easy to read everything. I like the icons. Here's our climate control, our awning controls. And this does have the awnings on both uh, driver and passenger sides of the coach. We can control slide room shades. I'll just press one button right now and you'll see all of the shades come down all in sync and it's incredible at how flush all of these shades are in these Prevo motorhomes. If you look at other motorhomes out there, a lot of times there's gonna be light gaps and kind of stuff coming through. These are all extremely clean and very flush to the windows. And then on this system, we can also control if we want to select individual shades. We can also monitor our tank levels. Uh, this also does have some windows that we can open. So if we want to get a little cool air, like on a rainy day like today, we can just vent some of these windows open, monitor all of our power. Everything is just very simple. Every button that I've touched in this coach, everything just works flawlessly. And this coach is in excellent condition. I was told that the previous owner really cared for this coach and it really shows. And Millennium did a great job with so many little details. Like you'll notice the leather wrapped wall panels and then this design and style in the ceiling with that indirect lighting really has a nice feel. Now we are gonna drive this coach in a moment. So definitely worth watching the whole video. I'm excited to show you guys how smooth this coach is going down the road. But we can bring this TV down in the front, it does have the Sono sound bar. 
You can see the Bose speakers inlaid in that leather. Everything is completely flush, very well finished. And then lots of little details like this decor piece on this divider between the driver's seat and the salon. We also have a little bit of storage here, and this is gonna be where the slide room controls are housed. And we're gonna show you how the slide rooms come in in a moment. We've been trying to show in all of these different videos in real time the slide rooms coming in and out so you can really hear it and get a feel for how the slide rooms work. So we'll go over the cockpit in a moment when we drive the coach, but we've got this large couch up front. This does not turn into sleeping. I could probably comfortably just take a nap on this couch. It is very deep. I do have to point that out. Like I'm sitting all the way back. I'm 6'2", and uh, you could definitely, you definitely would need like a pillow behind you or a very tall person could very comfortably sit on this couch. And I think it's wide enough if someone did want to sleep on it, they could. But a lot of times they say that these coaches are made to entertain six, dine for four, and sleep for two. So a lot of these coaches are designed for couples in mind. So if you did want to turn that into uh, you know, sleeping, they could switch that out for a sleeper sofa. Anything can be done for the right amount of money. And this is a really nice design with this extremely high-end recliner in the front passenger side slide room and a beautiful texture on the leather. I mean, this chair is like like brand new. It's hard to believe that this coach is 10 years old. And then if you wanna get some work done, you have this office area up here with some drawer space. This is almost like a file cabinet and more storage there below. And then if you wanna uh, kick back and take a nap, pop your TV down, that will fold out as well. And this chair is extremely comfortable. And I'll point out there's no carpets on this slide room, it's all tile. And then you'll see when we put the slide rooms in, uh, it's nice the way that we don't have to worry about moving this chair or anything. Very simple, very user friendly. As we're going through this coach, I am noticing a beautiful tile inlay on these floors. These are heated floors. And this does have like the J style booth. Now I do want to point out there are some wear marks. This is the first signs of any wear that I've seen on this coach. Everything is in the wrapper but the bottom cushions may need to get reupholstered in this coach. Fabrics on the backs are in excellent condition, but I do like to be transparent and point out some of the little flaws that I do see. Now, the way this coach is priced for $888,888 for a bath and a half coach, I think if you just needed to do a little bit of upholstery work, it wouldn't be too expensive. And coming into the galley, I like to point out just how flush every square inch is on this slide room face, the way that wraps into the ceiling just completely finished off and then we have some good storage in our galley all lined with carpet extremely clean when we look inside of all of these cabinets you'll notice the crystals on the hardware it does have the dantium microwave tucked back there and then these doors will slide in but when you're not using it you've got these you can cover that up and you don't have to look at that microwave but we do have the kenyan cooktop and this is set up for someone that really wants to do some cooking, maybe clean some vegetables or something here. I don't know if I've ever seen that in a motorhome. Then I'll point out lots of indirect lighting you'll notice below the countertops. Now this coach does not have a dishwasher, so we've got two deep drawers down here, good spot for pots and pans, lots of storage in this galley. And then we have a residential refrigerator with the face to match that same wood grain. It does have a water and ice dispenser very clean and i forgot to mention we do have nice storage above the booth as well and then an art recess and that's a cool art piece there that really ties in the whole theme of this coach kind of a nice little abstract piece and this would be a good spot for a coffee bar we do have an outlet here some of our lighting controls beautiful tile backsplash and then some storage below. So now coming into the middle of the coach, we have some nice storage. We have our air conditioning controls. Uh, we can start and stop the generator here. And we've got these drawers that lock into place and you just really feel that quality. I'm really impressed with Millennium. Uh, every time I go through one of these coaches, we don't see too many of them, but very impressive builds. Here's the washer dryer. And again, you know, just look at those hinges. We've got four very industrial hinges 
on these cabinet doors. And this is a bath and a half coach. So very rare to find a 2013 bath and a half Prevo. This is just when they were starting to go to bath and a half floor plans. And I love what they did with the two tone with the cream color faces inside the bathroom. And then this does have a bidet toilet with beautiful tile work up the side wall and then a little spot to store toilet paper. There are outlets up here if you needed to put something on a charger. Very well lit in this half bathroom as well. They did a great job with the lighting in this coach. Nice medicine cabinet space here. Again, very clean and some good drawer storage as well. Really nice to have that half bathroom. Now coming into the rear suite, I've got to point out the inlay on these uh, closet doors here. There's like a leather, a very high-end material on the inlay. When we open the closet doors, you'll notice it's very well lit. We have double hanging space here, and then there is a drawer below. Now this only has one slide room in the bedroom, but still all kinds of space back here. And I will point out, there are carpets in the bedroom, and typically I'm not a fan of carpets, but these have been very well cared for, and they just feel so nice on your feet. So someone that doesn't have pets, especially if the carpet's only in the bedroom, I could definitely see value in that. Or if you did wanna have these carpets switched out for hardwood floors, that is something that they can do at the motor coach store. The remodel department is world-class. I've seen them do some incredible floors on some very high-end coaches. So you can reach out to the uh, service department if you wanted to get a quote for that. So again, we see that cool inlay on these cabinet doors. This is gonna be more hanging space, and this is where our slide room control is gonna be. We're gonna show you how the slide rooms come in in a second. Looks like a Bose stereo. And then some nice deep drawer space here. Lots of storage in this coach. More storage overhead. Good spot for accent pillows or extra blankets. And then we do have the blinds closed. There are windows on both sides of the bed. And again, I like to just point out how high end these blinds are in these Prevo buses. When you look at other motorhome blinds, out there they're just not as flush and then that beautiful brown leather on the headboard there then we have another tablet bedside where we can control a lot of the systems from the coach bedside we also have the doorbell camera for that airphone doorbell and then climate controls bedside as well and the more time i spend in this coach the more i'm impressed with all of the little details like the style on the tile backsplash in this art recess. If you notice the wallpaper here and the style of that with almost like a gold metallic feel to it, they really tie in together well. You'll notice the Samsung TV with the Bose speakers inlaid into the cabinets. Just a small amount of storage on both sides of the TV utilizing that space. And then another really cool art recess here. And I like these abstract pieces. They give it a very nice feel. And again, kind of that metallic sheen on some of that tile backsplash. And you'll notice the indirect lighting below this countertop space. And then we have some cabinets below here as well, just utilizing this space for storage and you'll notice how these cabinet doors are curved they match that countertop just incredible the workmanship that goes into building these coaches I'm really impressed with the team at Millennium now coming into the back of the coach this is where this coach is so ahead of its time this is gonna be similar to the floor plans that we see in a lot of the brand new Prevo buses the bath and a half is so popular this does have the bidet toilet you have some more storage next to your toilet and cool wallpaper all in excellent condition but a totally different style and design than we've seen in the rest of the coach and then one of my favorite parts about this coach is this bowl sink the water comes out here such a high end the way the faucet and bowl match each other and then a beautiful intricate tile backsplash behind that large mirror. And then we've got a good size shower. I like the vertical style, almost like a rustic subway tile. I mean, this is a lot of the same designs and styles that we'll see in late model coaches. Plenty of height here, I'm 6'2", plenty of elbow room, and I don't see any water spots in this glass. I'm always, I don't see the squeegee, but I can tell that this uh, shower glass has been very well cared for. One other thing about the interior of this coach that I didn't point out is it's actually raining right now and we're hearing 
a tiny pitter patter on the roof. Depending on the insulation of these different motorhomes, sometimes it can get really loud. And I have to say that this is one of the quieter motorhomes that I've been in while it's raining. Now we do need to get this coach back to the motor coach store. So we're gonna put all the slide rooms in and take it for a test drive. I'm excited to show you guys how this coach is going down the road. Okay, to put the slide rooms in on a Prevo H3, we're going to turn the engine on first. That Volvo D13 fires right up and we'll put the slide room in the rear of the coach in first. The switch for the bedroom slide is located in this closet. Then we'll just press this button in and then we'll hold that down. You can hear that Volvo D13 running. So it's gonna take a second before the slide room comes in. It's for that air seal to ventilate there. Okay, and you can see it's, uh, it would be pretty tough to walk through here to get to the rear bathroom, but we will show you what it's like while we're going down the road in the moment, just so you can get a feel for it. But let's get these uh, front slide rooms in here. So the switches for the slide room controls in this coach are up front, our passenger and driver side slide rooms. So we're gonna put the driver slide room in first. So, and again, it's gonna take maybe five or 10 seconds for that seal to deflate. And then that slide room will come in. I can, it's probably easier to step down into the stairwell here. You can see extremely smooth. And then we'll put the passenger side slide room in. Again, five to 10 seconds for the slide room to de, uh, ventilate. Boom, easy peasy. And I love seeing stuff like this. Right away, uh, this let us know that we still have our 50 amp hooked up. So it's letting us know sure power has been detected. It knows we're putting in the slide rooms in and the engine is going. It gave us a big warning to make sure that we go out there. Now, I always recommend anytime I drive a motor home, just walking around the coach, checking it out, looking at the tires and just really looking over the coach and making sure there's nothing connected to it always before you leave. But let's show you real quickly what it's like with the slide rooms in. I mean, this is something that could be very livable even while you're going down the road. And uh, this chair does come out. It's kind of a slow moving motor, but we'll put that back in since we are gonna be in travel mode. And I have to say, we've filmed some other motor homes that have a beeping noise when we're putting the slide rooms in when the engine is running and we didn't have any annoying noises. It's just a very user friendly experience putting these slide rooms in. Uh, so if we wanna adjust this table, it is a manual lever right here. That will give us a little wider pathway through the coach, but the booth is still very livable while while we're going down the road if you wanted to stop and have a meal at a rest area or back up here if you wanted to sit down and relax and you know maybe get some work done or take a nap you could do that and again this couch very comfortable but we can still easily get to our half bathroom plenty of room in the walkway here easy access to that and then we have easy access to a coat closet here very well lit we showed you that earlier and access to this double hanging closet as well. Now you would need to uh, climb over the bed if you wanted to take a shower in the back of the coach. Let's take this coach for a spin. I'm really excited to show you guys how this coach rolls and I'm just going to put the blinds up real quick before we go down the road. I want to show you guys how that works. We're just going to go to master open. Just so simple and user friendly. Everything that we've needed to find into this coach has been very easy to find, very user friendly and Notice none of these blinds are binding. And we've got these huge Prevo windows. And these will vent out here uh, on both sides. All right, so we've got to unhook our 50 amp cord here. And this has got a nice power cord reel. 
And here we have the switch for the power cord reel. And then we'll feed it through this little port here. And then boom, it's in place. So easy peasy. As I mentioned before, I always like to do a walk around the entire coach, just looking, you know, for uh, anything that may be in the way, making sure all the tires look good. We've got that Volvo D13 running. Man, what an incredible. Incredible coach. All right. And this is something I missed pointing out earlier, but check out the studs and the inlays on this door. Beautiful upholstery work, and then a beautiful tile entryway going into the coach. So these seats have the really nice two-tone leather with the cream and dark brown that really tie in together well. You know, the upholstery work on this dash is really top-notch. I'm really impressed when I look in all of the different nooks and crannies. If we get a close-up shot here on some of these curved areas, the way the upholstery wraps around. Very impressive work by Millennium and very impressive at how this coach has held up over the last 10 years. So uh, here we have the standard Prevo cockpit with the standard Prevo dash, a wood grain steering wheel. We have our cruise control settings, a large monitor up front. Uh, there we can see we're looking at the kind of the rear of the coach. This is gonna be the left turn cam, right turn cam, back up. Then we have the hitch view, it's gonna look more down. Trip cam, that's gonna be in front of us. So lots of different camera angles that we can see. Easy controls for our Dash AC. It's got a Kenwood CD player. And then our shade controls for the uh, shades that will come down if it starts to get a little bit uh, sunny in front of us we've got both day shades and night shades so depending on what you prefer you can adjust that but we're going to put those all the way up it's a gloomy day today every button that i pressed in this coach works everything is just really in excellent working condition this coach does have 107,178.9 miles as we sit right now and we've got maybe a seven or eight mile uh, trek over to the motor coach store so i'm going to release that uh brake have the gear selector for the allison transmission our baggage door locks window for the driver oh and this button i'm pretty oh no that's that's not for your window that's for your um that's for your shade it's up here actually okay that's not i, I thought the window was broken for a second that was the shade i heard the shade going up and down our window control is going to be right here the window went right up and down i was a little concerned that i just told you guys that every button was working but yes every button is still working so and again, beautiful upholstery work here uh, just around this cockpit area. I mean, these AC vents, look at that stitching, just incredible. Let's roll. 71 degrees outside today. The rain finally stopped. Hopefully the uh, roads aren't wet. This coach just got rained on last night, but it's still clean and we don't want to get this coach dirty driving it in the rain. So in a moment, uh, Eli's going to take us to the back of the coach and show us what it sounds like while it's going down the road. And I am just blown away at how smooth it is just pulling out of this drive. I'm going to lift this tag here to get a little tighter turning radius. is really incredible at uh, how well these machines handle. And when you lift that, when you lift that tag up, it really uh, tightens that turning radius and makes maneuvering much easier. All right, and now we're you know going on a one-lane road. I'm gonna raise the tag again here. A little tight turn, and we do not want to drive on the lawn at all. 
I can tell this lawn is very well cared for. Yeah, just incredible on a one lane highway or one lane road. All right, so we're making a left hand turn and always an absolute honor to be able to drive a you know, multi, you know, these were multi-million dollars new, but a million dollar motorhome. Um, just such an incredible machine. Now on this test drive, we are going to uh, go down a bumpier road and then a smoother road. So if you've been watching these test drive videos, we've been trying to have the same routine and uh, we're going to walk to the back of the coach on both bumpy and smooth roads. I would usually turn out into the middle there. Um, I stay nervous in a coach like this. All right, we're going for it. Boom, just so responsive. I had to kind of hammer down to make sure we uh, got in front of traffic and just incredible at how smooth this bus is. The camera guy, Eli, has become a Prevo guy uh, after spending some time with this coach and just all the different coaches that we touch and feel. It's just, just incredible. And we're gonna go to the back of the road, back of the coach in just a moment when we get to some bumpier roads here. Now also up front, we do have this tablet uh, where we can control a lot of the shades, lighting, all in the back of the coach from up front here. What is this guy trying to do behind me? I'm gonna go to my backup camera here. Man, this guy is like kind of on my hitch here. Let's see. So this is the hitch camera. This is something cool. Even when we're sitting at a uh, stoplight, if we want to see what's going on with the traffic around us, boom, we could see, there's a look at that red Honda Civic. If we look up to the right side, we can see a nice blue Mercedes GLC driving by. Very clear. Here's our backup camera the trip camera in front of us so you can see it's that bright green uh jeep wrangler and then if you look up there's the bright jeep green uh bright green jeep wrangler and we can also control the different shades here a lot of good stuff all right let's uh let's rock and roll here we're gonna try to get you some acceleration tests up here in just a moment we just went over a big pothole you may have heard a few things and we, uh, we need to download that decimal meter app. Do you think we can get one real quickly? You wanna download one on your phone or mine? I think this uh, Millennium is a good coach to set the bar for a uh, decimal app. So we are listening to your comments. So we appreciate all of the comments. I didn't think of it uh, until we were doing this test drive, but I think in the last test drive video, someone commented that they recommend that we would get a decimal meter did you find one already? Yeah, it's downloaded. Awesome. Big thanks to Eli Rockstar here getting apps downloaded and filming at the same time. All right, I'm gonna accelerate here. I think this is gonna be a really good coach to set, set the benchmark of, of what the decibel testing is. And, oh, look at this. All right, we're at 69 without anything. And then when I start talking, it goes up to 89.90. So I'll tell you what, Eli, will it mess up the audio if we clip the microphone to your phone? I'll tell you what, let's clip the microphone to your phone and then uh, we're gonna go through some different smooth and bumpy roads, but um, in just a moment, if you wanna just walk to the back of the coach while we're going down, and then if you, yeah, if you can get that shot with the, uh, showing that while you're walking. I'm gonna try to drive as smooth as possible. We're asking a lot of Eli here to 
hold a huge gimbal. It's gotta be like a 25 pound camera set up with the gimbal and everything. Sony A7, the big lens. So Eli's going to attempt to walk to the back of the coach with this huge camera and then show you guys the decibel meter as we're going to the back here. If you want to give it a shot here, buddy. And then we're going on to some bumpy roads right now. Okay, cool, cool. Um, I'll grab this mic for you for a second. So we're gonna uh, go over some smooth roads in just a second, and I'm curious to see how many dec decibels, is it decimal or decibels? Decibel. With a B? Yeah. Decibel. So we learn something new every day, a decibel meter. So j in just a second, we're gonna go to the back of the coach again here on a smooth road, and I'm looking forward to seeing Know, what the difference in the uh, decibel meter is. Just extremely smooth. What did you think, Eli, overall, like compared to the other coaches you've been in? It's like butter. Oh, yeah. If you want to show them, too, like what this bumpy road looks like. So this is the bumpy road we're on right now, and that's uh, the similar road to what we had, the 60... What did you say, it was 66? Yeah, 66 in the back. And what is it in the cab here? Can you, uh, this is a pretty, really bumpy part of this road, I'm curious. Sixty-seven or 70. Okay. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to seeing here in just a second uh, what it's like. Oh, shoot. Police got him, and I'll tell you what, in this coach, way it gets up and goes, uh, you gotta keep an eye on that speedometer. So, we're going on to some smoother roads. I'm just gonna show them what we're looking at here. And then in a moment, we're gonna walk to the back of the coach again with the decibel meter here, so. What's it at up here? About 60. We had a little rough road for a second, then we're back on the smooth road now. Man, I want to go test drive like 20 different motorhomes now and start doing this test. I think this is definitely going to be a game changer. People have been recommending this for years and years and with all the technology now, now that we can download one on an app, just incredible. 
So we've got one more thing we've got to uh, start doing for you guys in these videos. So I really appreciate Bradley Twait and the team at the Motor Coach Store for allowing us to review these different coaches. And this coach is a lot of value for $888,888. They can help you get financing. They can take in trades if you're trading up, trading down. The Motor Coach Store is a boutique dealership. When you take delivery of this coach, you'll have a train technician go over everything with you make sure you understand how to operate all of the different systems this is a very complex motorhome so really a lot of value in purchasing this coach from the motor coach store if you are a serious and qualified buyer you can contact bradley twait his information is available at the motorcoachstore.com thanks to all of you that are following we hope you're all having a great day